good. Oh, Ooh, free rate glitch. I don't know why that did that, but we were good there for a second. What's up everybody welcome back to the channel i'm evil rabbit here on project cars 2 decided to hop back on project cars 2 give it another go been missing project cars 2 and all the fun in the game so we are here to do another comparison video between project cars 2 and forza motorsport 7 if you remember my last um comparison video i did a side by side of a set of corsa and forza motorsport 7 so today we are here on project cars 2 to do the same thing but we are here in these 1ms on the Nuremberg GP or GT track so we're gonna rip these things we're gonna rip this around I say these things because I've already ripped the uh, car in Forza 7 so once I get these tires heated up we'll start at the line we'll do a standing start and now of course just like last comparison video I will show you guys side by side of Forza 7 here and project cars except we're on project cars this time not Forza 7 so the audio and everything is here on project cars if you guys want to see more project cars don't forget to comment down below and tap that like button and subscribe i do appreciate the support if you are not a subscriber uh if you guys want to see more of these comparison videos let me know maybe what games you want to see compared what cars you want to see compared and such like that as well as you guys know you can follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram all of which are found in the description box below Gotta get these tires warmed up here on this Ooh. 1M. Oof. I didn't think it was gonna stop. Because, you know, in Forza 7, we do have warm tires from the get-go, pretty much. In Project Cars 2, we do have to warm up our tires. So that's what we are doing right now. So we can get a good lap in. Hot lap in this car. Force feedback is so so much different here on project cars 2 than it is on forza oh and the snapback over steer is definitely a lot more in this one than it is in forza 7 can drift out a little more in forza 7 and catch it and you know actually do a nice drift in it than i can in project cars right now so i still think the force is a little bit glitchy but we're going to make do. We're going to try and do the best we can. I'm not used to seeing my map up on the top right corner. Okay, we completely screwed that out lap up. It's all right, because we're going to start. There's no wall there in the project cars. I was I was normally used to seeing a wall in Forza 7. So so we're going to go to the line. We're going to start from a dig. See what we can do in this 1M here. I don't remember I actually start all the way up here just lighting the tires up though all right start all the way up here all right so here we go Ferrison project cars 2 Forza 7 7 let's do it see what we can do in this car now I do miss the head turn here in project cars 2 I wish Forza 7 would have this but of course you know Forza 7 does not I think it has something to do with the oh we, we kind of lost that a little bit I didn't the car is not as twitchy in Forza 7 that's definitely for sure But the feel of this game is definitely amazing. Ooh, don't skate on me. We're good. Thought I was gonna get all skating on me there for a second. There we go. A little bit better. Now, I, since I do have the new shifter, it is actually amazing to not have to worry about it missing gears I should stay in third there nope second good thing we didn't I totally forgot that there's 
transmission damage and everything in Project Cars 2. I do have all of that turned on, so I do need to make sure I don't uh, short shift these cars or anything like that. Oh, no! It's okay, we're still good. Someone saved a little bit. There we go. Ooh, getting a little skatey. Oh, getting a little skinny on me though. I think it has something to do with the feedback, but we're gonna have to trudge through this here for this comparison. Now I know that. Oh, I think we missed it. Could have done a lot worse. I know I missed it in Forza 7 too on the second lap. So, ooh. so that's definitely gonna hurt us in this lap. We're now we're gonna see if we can't make this up. All right, full lap in. We have to be hard on the brakes in this turn one. Oh, step back, oversteer. I'm so used to the light, not the light feeling of the wheel, but the not aggressiveness of Forza 7. So, Project Cars 2 is definitely a whole nother monster on a wheel. Oh, skatey. Here we go. Track control is just screaming at me. I can see that in the right corner of the screen. It's just screaming, saying, what are you doing? Get off the throttle, but we're going to stay in the throttle. Ooh. Tail happy. A little bit tail happy under braking. Uh, Forza 7 is a little tail happy under acceleration. Braking too, kind of, but not as much as Project Cars right here. Keep saying skeety, because it feels like when the car like starts to walk back and forth on me when I'm trying to brake or accelerate or even on the straight like it, it just starts to float back and forth up the gas Ooh. I honestly think I like the sound in uh, Forza 7 compared to this one kind of want to uh, take this car in a seto and rip it around this track in a seto and uh see what uh you know it sounds like it feels like in a set of corsa we may actually do that for this episode's ending you get three games in one you get a seto project cars two and forza seven interesting episode for sure <laughs> oh no and we did it again Ah, uh, I'm used to seven where there's a wall there. I think this is stock. 1M in Aceto. Let's see if we can get this first turn without getting totally skatey. Nope. Oh my god. We did it again. Oh. <laughs> oh, Project Cars 2. Whole nother monster. I need to get my skills up in Project Cars 2, though. I think we might switch over to a Seto real quick and, uh,. Run this car in a seto and see what the totally difference between all three games are. So, see you guys want to get on a seto. So, we're here in a seto. Oh, already the sound is totally different. I think a seto has the car sounds by far better than any of the other games so far. Uh, 1M handles uh, pretty awesome, actually. Oof. There we go. Oh, gosh. I totally 
forgot. And the one thing I like about Assetto, it has the full 900 degrees of rotation in the cockpit, which is awesome. Haven't done much racing in Assetto, so this is definitely different. This car sounds amazing. I feel like the iDrive in the center should not say Assetto Corsa, it should say BMW. I work for BMW and I've had the chance to drive one of these cars a few times and these cars are just incredible to drive. I didn't think I was going to brake fast enough for that. There we go. Okay, so the feel of the Seto, definitely one of the best feeling sim games out there. Oh, save it. Definitely want to get into more Assetto Corsa. Definitely want to get my PC rebuilt so I can get into the Assetto mods. Crap. It's okay, we're good. It's just the sound in this game is incredible. I love the sounds in Assetto, especially that GTR or any of the cars actually. They sound just 10 times better. And the fact that you can have the cockpit view do full 900 on the wheel like it would actually see is a big thing for me I wish and I can't wait to actually get on PC with this because they have the real head movement you know app or whatever you, program you want to call it that uh, has the basically the head turning that a project cars 2 has okay this car handles so amazing are we, are we gonna try and rip it you know we're gonna try and drift this car. It's about to happen, you know it's gonna happen. Oh, I don't think I have a handbrake set up. I forgot to change my controls. We don't have a handbrake. We had a handbrake, oh, and no traction control. That too, probably. That probably would help. There it goes. Little clutch kick. Oops. So I didn't. I don't have my handbrake switched over yet. So we're doing this without a handbrake, but we are gonna try and slide this BMW with just a just a clutch. No handbrake. I didn't think that was actually gonna work. It actually worked out better than I thought. It's right there. Oh. Well, that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7, Project Cars 2, and a set of course, uh, all three games in one. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let, you, let me know down in the comment section down below. As well as you know, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. So if you guys want to see more Assetto Corsa, Project Cars 2, or Forza Motorsports 7, or Forza Horizon 3, let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys want to see. I had a lot of fun doing this, driving all three different games. Physics are definitely crazy in all three aspects of the games. Each one has their own style physics. Just getting a little sideways in this uh, 1M right there to finish that episode off. So until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the style